Hey guys, it's JCA Gaming here. Minecraft has been around for a really long time, 11 years in fact, and there are many things to do in the game, sometimes even too much. PvP, parkour, redstone, and everything else. But there's one aspect that the game was built around, and that aspect is building. Building has changed a lot over the years with all the new blocks added, the building techniques created, and just what the player base has done and continues to do across the building community. Today I'll be talking about all of those things, as well as a couple other things that have happened throughout the history of building. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. It all started on May 14th, 2009. Minecraft was three days away from being released to public, and the game was still in early development stages. 11 years ago, Notch posted this on his blog titled The Word of Notch with the caption, A simple house and a very, very silly mob. This was the first ever build known to man, and it was indeed what the caption said, a simple house. From what I could see, the building is a small L-shaped house made out of cobblestone with a couple windows in the back. We never get to see the exterior of this house, but we do get to see another house that was built by Notch two days later. This house was made out of wood, stone, and had a chimney made out of cobblestone. May 17th, 2009. An early alpha edition of the game was released to the public. The first build made by somebody other than Notch that is known to the public was this. A strange build made of completely dirt and grass blocks. The video is simply titled Minecraft and was uploaded on the same day the game came out by a man named JWAP. He also uploaded two other videos, one being Minecraft Curl and Mario Minecraft Awesome. Minecraft Curl is just a spiral staircase and Mario Minecraft Awesome is a Super Mario pixel art made of wood, dirt, and stone. These builds will go down in history as the oldest builds in Minecraft. When these were built in Minecraft Classic, there were a very limited amount of blocks compared to the ones we have today. In 1.16, we have over 700 different blocks in the game, and back then we only had 41. Most builds were just small houses and random things back then. However, there was one build that stood out from the rest. This build was the Enterprise D from Star Trek. It really showed the potential the game had and still impresses people to this day. Alpha is a massive update for building along with a ton of other things. First of all, stairs were added, possibly the most influential blocks in terms of building, since they could be turned upside down to make detailing builds a whole lot easier. Another thing that was added in Alpha were biomes. Biomes allowed us to have different types of terrain to build on instead of just the basic plains biome. Some biomes that were added were the plains, the woods, the beach, and many others. Each of these biomes could be used for different structures, for example, the plains were a relatively flat biome which made it perfect for building practically anything on. One thing that made a huge impact on large scale builds was the increased build height. In Minecraft Classic, the build limit was 64. However, it was doubled to 128 in Minecraft Alpha. This was extremely important due to the fact that it allowed large scale builds to be created without the height limit getting in the way. Beta was one of the most important updates for Minecraft builders since it added many new features that enhanced the experience a ton. Creative mode was one of these features, and allowed flight and an infinite amount of resources for the players to use. These two features allowed for bigger builds to be built in a less amount of time. Another important feature that was added was colored wool. This allows for colorful builds and pixel art to be created with ease. A lot of the builds me and Cool saw in the video I made on the oldest Minecraft server were built in this version. For example, the Stanford Angel was built on the server in April of 2011 over a span of 17 days. The most amazing part is that it wasn't even built in creative. It was an extremely impressive project that really showed the potential of Minecraft and will inspire builds for years to come. On November 18th, 2011, Minecraft was officially released to the public. It wasn't the biggest update in terms of building as it mainly focused on survival, however it did have a couple of graphical changes that generally made the game look a bit better. Minecraft 1.1 added super flat worlds, which allowed for a completely flat terrain perfect for building. 1.3 added every type of wooden slab along with all types of wooden stairs. These blocks are very useful in building today since, as said before, they are very useful in detailing builds. 1.4.2 or the pretty scary update added flower pots and cobblestone walls, which both are frequently used in buildings today. The next update that was important to building was 1.6 or the horse update. In this update, terracotta was added, which is extremely useful as it added a colored block that wasn't as vibrant as wool. 
1.7 was also very important since it added acacia wood, dark oak wood, stained glass, and a couple of different flowers that could be used to add a bit of color to a dull build. Stained glass and stained glass panes are essential in most builds since white and light grey glass panes just generally look better than regular ones. 1.8 add banners, sea lanterns, and barrier blocks. Sea lanterns add a new, better looking source of light to the game and basically put redstone lamps and glowstone to shame. Barrier blocks were extremely useful to map makers because of the fact that you could block certain areas off without obstructing a view. 1.12 is the next important update, adding another colored block called concrete, which is in my opinion the best colored block in the game. Concrete was a single solid color which could be useful for building. Glazed terracotta was also added but it doesn't really become useful for most builds. 1.16 aka the most recent update added warped wood, crimson wood, and blackstone blocks. I haven't really found a use for warped wood, but crimson wood looks like it could be useful. Blackstone and its variants are very useful and can be used in darker builds like medieval castles. Now that I've explained the useful blocks in the game, let's move on to look what people have done with them. With the popularity Minecraft has gained over the years, there have been many talented builders that have used their skills to build extremely impressive structures. In this section of the video, I'll be talking about some historical Minecraft builds that you may or may not remember. Let's start back at the Enterprise D from Star Trek that I mentioned earlier in this video. It was built on September 27, 2010 by a YouTuber that went by the name Halcoon. It was a massive 1 to 1 scale replica of the Enterprise D, a massive spaceship in Star Trek which really showed the potential of the game at the time. Keep in mind that this was built in Minecraft Classic by hand. No mods, no world edit, nothing. Just vanilla Minecraft. This build really pushed the limits of the game and inspires many people to build massive structures in the present day. Next up is the Temple of Notch. The Temple of Notch was an extremely influential build to the Minecraft community due to the fact that it combined building and redstone into one creation. It was a massive sculpture of Notch's face that, when triggered, would cry for some reason. It may seem simple to most people nowadays, but at the time it was revolutionary. In my opinion, this is one of the greatest builds of all time. It may not be as big as the other builds, but it really set the scene for the potential of the game in many different aspects. Herobrine's Mansion was another old map that was influential to the building community. It was a massive mansion that was created by Hypixel, yes the server owner, on November 3rd, 2012. Not only was it an extremely cool piece of architecture, it was an amazing adventure map that had a creative story and custom boss fights. Before this, people have never seen anything like it. The map along with the server quickly blew up after that, and adventure maps became very popular among the Minecraft community. As Minecraft went on, people became better and better at building, and these relatively simple maps became massive, complex structures. People began building cities, giant medieval castles, replicas of historical figures, gigantic statues, and that's when people realized that there really were no limits to the game. In 2014, a couple of people came together to build the entire city of Denmark while being funded by the Danish Geodata Agency. It was a massive project that had over 4 trillion blocks placed and was a 1 terabyte world file for a single world. It wasn't built by hand, but was created using an algorithm made by two people whose names I can't really pronounce. Sorry about that. It was later used by teachers in geography classes, which proved that Minecraft could even be used as an educational tool. At one point, a group of 4chaners griefed the server, but the map was just too big and only the spawn and some other warps were destroyed. The map was reset to its pre-griefed form afterwards with TNT disabled, so it wasn't the biggest deal ever. At this point in the video, I'm just gonna list some really impressive builds that just didn't make into a full section of this video. First up, a massive recreation of the Titanic, which was a great build especially considering when it was built in 2011. Newport Notch was another massive city that was created in Minecraft 8 years ago. It was created on October 15, 2012 and was a huge project that even sprouted its own subreddit. Finally, Adamantis, a gigantic structure that was created by a single person and used over 60 million different blocks. The most impressive part is that the map was built in just 3 months. All of these builds are insane, but it just didn't have enough of an impact on Minecraft's history to have its own part in the video. Although every project here was extremely impressive, everything has just been completely won up by the Build the Earth project that was started by Pippin FTS. 
I know it sounds really, really crazy, but yes, it is what the name implies. Over 2,000 builders are working on the project, building city after city, town after town, and all on a one-to-one -one scale. There have already been multiple cities that have been finished, for example, the entirety of Seattle, Montrose, Scotland, and many more. It is an insane project, almost impossible, but if it ever does get finished, I really want to be alive to see it. However, I did forget to mention one thing. The entire project is being done almost all by hand. It is things like this that just really, really show the potential of the game. And if this project is ever finished, it'll be so revolutionary to the point that it would be physical proof that Minecraft truly does have no limits. There are a couple things I want to mention before this video ends because the last video didn't really do the best. First of all, the Discord server, go join it. Uh, you can talk to other people, watch my videos, participate in contests, and even talk to me if I'm online. Second of all, there's an art contest happening right now and we need more submissions before we end it. So if you're an artist and want to make me a profile picture, join the Discord server because I'll only be taking submissions there. Uh, there is a prize if you win too, so uh, there's some little extra incentive. There's more information in another video, so um, uh, if you want more information, it'll be in the description. Uh, anyways, that's the end of this video. If you liked it, like it. If you didn't, then don't like it. And make sure to subscribe. This video took a hell of a long time to make, so any support is appreciated. Later.